Hey folks, Kevin here. Well, today it's 4th of July, 2020, and uh, I hope everybody's staying safe out there and partying safely and visiting safely as well if you're per visiting in person. So today I thought I'd uh, respond to a question from Kate, one of my regular viewers on the channel, and thumbs up Kate, thank you for your contributions on a regular basis. Uh, but I recently posted a vid video on the living fences that we have growing here. And one of the plants that, that I featured in that uh, video was our propagating the black uh, elderberry plants. And, uh, and so here's Kate's comment and question. Uh, Kevin, thanks for the tour. I purchased a few varieties of elderberry this year and planted them and they're doing great. Little did I know that there are massive amounts of them growing in the wild around me uh, now that I know what I am looking at while out on a walk. Do you and Thea make your own uh, syrup from them? Yes. Uh, I know that they do need to be cooked before eaten, but are, the, are there varieties that, I, that can't be eaten at all? Uh, I don't want to harvest wild elderberries if I can't use them and, and I find so much conflicting information on the internet so it's hard to know. By the way, I used my tool sharpener the other day and it's awesome. Thanks for the recommendation, Kate. So uh, thanks. <laughs> I'm glad that's working out for you, Kate. I use that sharpener all the time. It really works great. Um, so I thought I'd tell you a quick story about uh, our syrup, so um, at, about the uh, elderberry plants. So as you know, we grow so many different types of berries here on the property and, and various fruits as well. So when Thea's home, we'll often take a morning break where we go sit in the shade and drink uh, quart-sized smoothies. And they're made from all of the various different berries that, and, and fruits on, on the property. And they're, they're just, they're so delicious. So recently we sat down and we're, we're drinking a smoothie and uh, Theo will say, well, it's this, 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 and this in it. So she'll list off all the things and she'll say elderberry. And, and so she said elderberry. So I turned to her and I said, you, you cooked them, right? And she said, no, I froze them. <laughs> so I had been taking in cyanide for some period of time uh, because cyanide is one of the, uh, the p potential toxins that you can ingest by, uh, by not cooking the elderberries themselves. So, uh, you know, all of the plant is basically uh, poisonous. Uh, obviously, it's not terribly poisonous, but the cyanide can build up in your body. And I didn't get a whole bunch of it, but it's an interesting thing. And I said, you remember, we always have to cook it. She said, well, I have to cook it for the syrup. I says, well, that uh, neutralizes the cyanide. And she had just forgotten that. So that's one of the things. It's, it's something to be discussed, this possibility, that although it's, a, a, it's, it's used for various medicinal uh, purposes, and there are many wonderful things about many of the different plants, including dandelion root, uh, that people talk about and there is scientific evidence of, of how healthy some of these these uh, these natural plant products are that, that grow around us but there's also the toxicity if you don't aren't aware of it and you don't take the, the necessary steps uh, so I thought I'd just share that and I was going to tell you this when my wife's trying to kill me but that wouldn't be accurate so she'll be uh, cooking the elderberries before freezing them uh, in the future for incorporation into our smoothies. Uh, but she always does uh, prep it by cooking it first for our elderberry syrups as well for cold and flu season. And I've talked about cytokine storms before in a previous video which I don't recommend it with a significant uh, with the pandemic issue that we have now. Uh, but are there, you know, uh, are the wild elderberry plants, uh, okay, if they're actually uh, true elderberry plants, then I think that you're pretty safe. Now, I'm not absolutely positive with this, but uh, I, I, am, I have no concerns myself. Of course, I just consumed some cyanide. Uh, 
it, with uh, taking uh, elderberry flowers or berries from elderberry plants that are native around the area, I'd be careful along roadsides because of the sprays that are used. Um, but, and I know that on the internet, some people have said that the European, some, some people have said the European variety of black elderberries are, are more poisonous than the, than the uh, North American varieties of black elderberries. And I've heard just the opposite, that the, that the, Amer the, the American black elderberry plants should not be consumed, only the European ones. And there's Johns and Adams, which everyone talks about being so safe. We grow those here as well. I, we, most of our berries come from the ones that are native here. Um, the other thing that, that I've heard is that the red uh, elderberry uh, uh, plants, that, that their berries are poisonous. But, you know, from everything that I've read in the scientific literature, as long as we know that it is an elderberry plant and we take the necessary steps of cook it, proper, the proper preparation, that they are safe to consume. But the question is, are there lookalikes? And depending on whose eyes are looking at the plants, I've had people tell me that they thought pokeweed, uh, the big berries on pokeweed, were elderberries. And to me, they don't look anything alike. Um, so if there are further questions about me describing them, I'm not an expert in these areas, but there's, there's potentially different lookalikes. There are much more poisonous uh, flowers that can look like uh, a little bit like the somewhat like the elderberry flowers but the leaves look totally different the stems look totally different and really if you're used to looking at the umbrella shape of the elderberry flowers uh, once they fill with the berries the different plants the berries can hang a little bit differently depending on the size of the clusters in a drought, how things look, like all of our berry plants and, and fruit plants right now, we've been in a hot, dry drought, and, uh, and so the berries just aren't as big unless they've been irrigated. So even our native blueberry plants. So I think there's, we, in, until we feel comfortable with understanding the leaf, the stems, and the, the shape of the elder, uh, elder flower, uh, I would not recommend anybody going out on their own until they feel very comfortable working with someone else or, or having an identification uh, book or app on your phone. Then I would feel more secure, but you really need to know what it is that you're, you're going for. But as far as I know at this point, based on the research that I've done, all of the uh, black elderberry plants that you're going to see growing wild around are uh, safe to consume if they are cooked, the berries are cooked. Um, with respect to being alongside the road or being exposed to pesticides and all, I would be very concerned in those areas about, about those. So if it's off the roads and into the, into the uh, um, in an area that you don't feel that, it, that have been contaminated, I think it might be safe to, uh, to go ahead and harvest some of those uh, black elderberries as well. Just do due di diligence. Make sure you, you, you recognize the leaves. If you've got to take one from your own plant at home, uh, dehydrate it, put it between plastic, whatever it may take. Take pictures of it. They're serrated, they're elongate. The, the uh, leaflets are all completely uh, opposed to each other as well. Uh, so I, I just want to make sure that, that everyone's confident that they indeed have identified the black elderberry uh, plants and then I think the, the the berries are safe to consume as long as you're you feel confident that nothing has been sprayed on the plants as well so that's the answer to my question today if you found this of value please give me a thumbs up share it with your friends and by all means folks stay safe this holiday weekend take care now bye bye